This level involved all sorts of cape shell jumping and including a few cape midairs, which I had not done in Super Mario World before. So really excited for you guys to check this out. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Bye. Okay, so I have a secret exit here, and then we have the last special level. So we have three exits left. Whew. Three exits left. I, th I hope it's the first pipe and not the second pipe in this level, where the... Where the uh, hidden exit is. That was your first live orb and you're slightly aroused? what I do. Didn't Barb one shot Kaizo 3 Bowser? Yeah. Alright, let's... Okay, we're gonna get the cape. Okay, we gotta let go of jump right there. Oh, no, 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 no that's not what I wanted to do. No! Oh! I'm slightly aroused. It's the pleats. Okay, so we need to do a Yoshi floating shell jump, which is not... I don't know if I've ever done one of those. Okay, you know, do it like that. Shit. Uh... Okay. Okay. This is all working out. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> we overshot our wad a little bit there. The level is an auto level. I'm not gonna lie, I got really, really lucky on that midair. <laughs> that went well, that did go well. Okay, so then we're gonna throw the spring up and it's gonna do something. I'd imagine we're going to jump off the spring after we throw it up, like we did in the f in the last level. That's what I'm speculating. Right? Because I don't think a spring can do an on-off switch, can it? Or like a spring, like it couldn't, it couldn't do a turn block. Like, I can't remember if springs can knock turn blocks and shit. Well, I mean, this part, this part's, like, free, so I got that part fine. This part had a coin, so I got kind of lucky on that, you know? This has the arrows, so... Oh, man, we're... No! What's past there? Oh, our soul. So I practiced mid airs. Uh, oh. And we got decent at it. Not not glitch cat level. Definitely not glitch cat level yet, but to a level where I was very a lot more confident, where I feel like I should get them more often than not. Way above 50/50 now. Okay, okay, okay. Nah, shit. That's what I get for bragging about my mid-air game. Oh, frick! Frick! Sorry. Fuck. Kaizo causes Tourette Syndrome? Uh, to a, to a certain degree, I'd say that. Yeah. <laughs> Yellow shell! <laughs> it's right there. Sometimes, sometimes the grind gets a little stressful. Like when you play, I think when you play like two or three hacks that are kind of just not well made, you know what I mean? And the, then the grind can feel stressful. But it's, it's when you have something that I think is super fun and visually impressive all at one time. Um, yeah, I could, I could play those levels for hours and hours. Like, Shellscape is a great example, you know? That level took me 19 hours, you know? Oh, okay, all right. Okay. 
That's okay. That worked. Probably win because I'm kind of trash. Lol. Also, yay. Baby. No, I'm not that good at fighting games. I, I never really grew up playing fighting games. I played a lot of Street Fighter 2 when my mom was on a bowling team. Played a lot of Street Fighter 2 when my mom was on a bowling team because she'd take me bowling and there was an arcade there in the bowling alley. So I played a lot of Street Fighter 2 growing up. A lot of Mortal Kombat 1 and 2. Um. But I didn't. I don't really. I'm not really that good at any other fighting game. Like you, you obviously seen like Smash. I was at, like starting at Ground Zero from Smash Ultimate. So uh, if you if you have fighting game experience, you'd probably take me down at that game. Oh, that one's hard, man. Yeah, jumping off shells with Yoshi like this at an angle, when you're not coming like straight down on the shell. Like even that one, you have to do like a little turn back. It's pretty difficult. Okay, so, oh, okay, 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 and then, and then, so we'll need to get that shell back. So we're gonna spit the shell out. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, I gotta talk this through real quick. We're, we're going to jump, we're gonna grab the turtle that was flying, jump off the spring, spit the shell out at the on-off switch, and then spit the other shell out at the on-off switch, the other one. And maybe grab that shell again with Yoshi? There we go. Okay, I'm starting to get that part. Mm, that's not what you want to do. I didn't spit it. I didn't spit the spring upwards, obviously. I need to. We're gonna have to do another midair. There's another midair after that. Yeah, there's another midair. I kind of got lucky on that regrab. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Uh, there's another midair. Is the cape midair easier than the regular one? Um, I think it's easier just because you like you. I mean, like even in Mar. I'm just doing it like I do it in Mario Maker. So in Mario Maker, as long as you have enough forward momentum, you can just look back and then kind of whip it around. So, um, and this hack makes midairs a little bit easier, too. So, it's, if this was regular Super Mario World, like, this hack has, uh, shells move a little bit slower in this hack, so it makes midairs a little bit easier, it, which allows for a lot of this crazy shit, which is great. Exactly, yeah, the shells in this are like Mario Maker shells, but you have, it's kind of the best of both worlds, honestly. Like, I love the way Mario Maker shells, like, you move and interact with them, but I love the way Mario moves in this game. So, it's, it's really kind of the best of both worlds, honestly. Yeah. Like that? Is it like that? But I did it too slow? Cock, piece of voodoo. No, no. <laughs> oh. I feel like we're right there. Like it's gotta it's gotta be close to the end. Do I have any pets? Yes, I have a dog named Lola and a turtle named Turd. The turtle, though, is... That's Gina's turtle. It's not really my turtle. 
No, dude! Grab him! I hate Yoshi's tongue, man. Did Gina name the... Okay, so our turtle, we originally thought it was a girl. So, we were on a... Uh, so, this is kind of funny. So, we had an aquarium. And everything in the aquarium got Game of Thrones named. So, like, we had, like, one of those crabs with a big... You know, with, like, the one giant hand. We were like, oh, that's his gold hand. So, we... That was Jamie Lannister. And pretty much everything in the aquarium would get... Would get... Game of Thrones names, you know, one way or another. We had a white, you know, a white goldfish, it was Jon Snow. Blah, blah, blah. So, we got Turd, and we thought Turd was a girl, so we named him Brienne of Turd. And we found out he was a boy, so we took away the Brienne and just called him Turd. Yeah. Not a hermit crab, no. It's like one of those crabs with, um... Yeah, not hermit crabs. They're just like water crabs. Like these little like water crabs that like fresh water. I don't know. I don't even know what they're called. But the boys have really giant hands. One really giant hand, yeah. It's really awkward. No. Come on, come on. No! I bricked it! I just threw it right into the spike! That's the end! Oh my god! I got so excited because I saw the keyhole! I just jumped! Fuck! I got so excited. I saw the hole, I just wanted to get in the hole. Who thirsts? What can I say? Shit. No! No, I had to! Oh my god, I thought that one was good! Oh, shit. Yo, Andrade, first of all, I hate that they, they shortened Andrade seeing Almas' name to just Andrade because he should, if they were gonna shorten it, they should've just called him C and Almas. Way better name. And also, there's no reason to shorten his name. He had a dope name. Not like Daniel Bryan, he's just be Daniel. But, yeah, that match he had was the, with Rey Mysterio was the best WWE match I've seen in a while. Oh shit! Ah, under an hour! Gah, gah, gah. Oh. Having the baby was the best thing for my gameplay because A, it, it allowed my hand to feel a lot better and B, it allowed me to practice mid-airs, which if I had not been practicing mid-airs, it would have just been really rough. Oh. Everyone was like, oh, is your gameplay gonna fall off when I have the, no. It's gonna get better. Better. All right. I've seen this last level. I've watched it. I've seen it before. The very first section of this last level is going to take me forever. Yeah. It's going to take me f just in an ins it's going to be insane. So the first part yeah, you gotta, you gotta, like, juggle these three shells to get up there. <laughs> oh, that actually wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't a bad attempt. Yeah, well, I'll try to get it one time. If I can get this just one time, I'll fucking freak out. Like, this is its own, I feel like this is its own level. Oh, shit, okay. Red up, yellow forward, blue up. Okay, that's what I... Oh! Okay, that actually would have been close. Bah! I don't know what to do. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're calling it on that. <laughs> I can't believe we got it. I've done... I've done things like that, like, um... 
Uh, there's a Mario Maker level where you have to do that exact move. Uh, God, who, it's, it rank, it was a rank Dora level. Where you just, you juggle, you, you like basically like stay in a, a never ending loop of like a triple shell jump. Yeah. So, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Hope you enjoyed the Super Chefy World 2 video. This hack is really testing my limits. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe. Consider hitting the join button. If you haven't already, try using your Amazon Prime subscription on your favorite streamer on Twitch.